Welcome back all. Today we're going to be digging into the forum to see how we can create awesome videos, animations, um, just like these ones. Okay, so let's dive uh, straight in. So you can see we're on the, um, the forum tab and we're, what we're going to do is create a, a little short video animation of some blue butterflies traveling through London. So how do we do this? The first tab that you have is run. Um, I tend not to change this in all honesty. Um, I default sampler method to Euler A. Again, we've talked about all the different sampling methods that are available, um, but for the purposes of this video, let's stick with Euler A. The keyframes is where it starts to get uh, a little bit interesting. So we can see that we want to make um, a 2D or 3D video. Video. We want to make a 3D video. Um, on the border, we're going to select wrap. So this will just pull the pixels in from the outside of the frame and we get less blurriness and, and vertical lines appearing. We set our cadence to four or five. Again, so every four frames, um, the, the, the ones in between won't get diffused. Again, helps with um, making the video smoother. And our maximum frames, we're gonna go for 780 frames. So that's effectively gonna generate 780 images um, that we can get through. We then get into camera, and in fact, firstly, we'll, we'll set up our um, story. So this is the default that happens um, when you first load the prompts one. Frames zero, we're gonna have a tiny cute bunny, etc. We don't want that because we wanna create our blue butterflies. So rather than me type it all out, here's one I prepared earlier, blue peas rest. There we go, so we're gonna have a blue butterfly flapping its wings across the London Bridge with a crowd of people below. That's gonna be our starting scene at frame zero. At frame 60, we're gonna change it to have some rain come in at frame 120, etc., etc., all the way through to 720, and then that'll pan out to the 780 max frames that we um, set it for initially. Then get into camera angles. So we're gonna, you can move the camera left, right, up, down, um, and 3D, which we're doing. So here we're going to have our translation X is going to be set to this, which effectively moves the camera left and right. So at frame zero, we're going to move it right by 1.05. So that, that sets the speed of the camera. So the higher you set these values, the faster the camera will, will pan. At frame 20, we're going to change the direction to move the camera left um, at the same speed all the way through to frame 600. Um, our translation Y is moving the camera up and down. We're just going to move the camera down very slowly um, through the whole of the video. Our translation Z, uh, this is going to tilt the cam cameras up or down in, in the degrees per frame. So we're going to be moving the camera down throughout the course of the video and we'll have the same for moving it to the right. So down and to the right to get that 3D effect. We want to set our output frames per second. We're gonna, um, each uh, frame will generate 15 frames per second. So we're gonna set that a little bit higher and make it 32. So we get a bit more detail as we're going through it. I think that's it for a, a basic initial one. Here you can use the initial image. We don't need to do that because we're gonna let stable diffusion do its magic, uh, so to speak. Right, and then we can click generate. Now this is gonna take probably 20, 30, 40 minutes to do. So I'll hit generate, I'll leave the camera running and I'll pop off and have a cup of tea. Okay, so this is the first time of me watching it. So let's see what we get. That's so cool. <laughs> Wicked. Oh, I like that. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Um, create your own uh, masterpieces. Um, any comments, uh, let me know. Drop them in the comments and uh, yeah, have fun.